Hey guys, we're taking a look at the 5.0.3 Fume Effects update. This is a nice update with some usability updates and some nice new features. You can see by default we all now have voxel data display on with the fire and smoke channel on. And that allows us to see something right out of the box when we press simulate. Previously you wouldn't be able to really see anything at all until you came over here and checked something on. Also, when you go up to the GPU viewport display, you'll see that the simulation looks nice and a lot more detailed than it did previously with the 5.0 release. And that's because we've updated the defaults to use Vorticity 2 with a Vorticity strength of 0.9. Previously, we had Vorticity 1 with a Vorticity strength of 0.6 on, and you can see it's a lot softer and smoother Maybe not what you would expect right out of the box. So with these new defaults, it's really very helpful to get you up to speed right away. When we check multi-view display, we can see all our fume effects grids in the viewport playback at once. Previously, we could only see one in the GPU preview, so this really helps us set up our scenes in fume effects. Another powerful feature is the ability to use the fume effects 4 solver in fume effects 5. This way, you'll be able to use older scenes and work in a way that you may be more familiar with, but also get all the benefits of Fume Effects 5. Here you can see switching back and forth between a Fume Effects 4 and 5 cache with an older scene. It's also worth a quick mention that you can now pick TIE Flow Particle Systems as your particle source.